Well, Dwight, welcome to day one officially of the election campaign. People are streaming into this event, and if you ask how important is the GTA in this upcoming election, well, this is the perfect example. Conservative leader Andrew Scheer is going to be here tonight. Last time around, this riding went to the Liberals, so clearly the Conservatives see an opportunity here. This election is shaping up to be an epic fight for the 905. Hi, I'm Leah. Hi. Smiles and handshakes in the street, then it's on to the next. It's day one and there is plenty of ground to cover. This riding was elected a Liberal in 2015. Um, the member changed the constituents' minds and is a Conservative, but they are Liberal. They voted for the party and the platform. And I think they're proud of what the party's done and I think they're ready to be with us to choose forward. 338 ridings are up for grabs across the country. Here's how things looked this morning when Parliament dissolved. Check out the GTA, almost all splashed in liberal red. Before Justin Trudeau's astounding sweep last time around, the GTA looked like this, much more conservative blue. Andrew Scheer and his party gunning to get those seats back. CBC's political team is identifying what it calls the swinging 60, ridings coast to coast where the election will be won and lost. Close to home, 16 key battlegrounds, historically swinging from liberal to conservative and back again. With uh, uh, riding redistribution, there's now uh, 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 ridings that are representative of the population in those places. Uh, it's highly contested politics. It's, uh, it's an, uh, hard knuckle, uh, elbows up politics. Uh, so you're going to see all kinds of different kinds of advertising, uh, all kinds of uh, uh, visible minority outreach and community outreach in different places. And the issues are as diverse as voters themselves. Once you graduate, you know, you think about, uh, uh, you know, housing and, and affordability in general and living by yourself. And we can't really afford that as, as at this age. I want to hear about the environment. That's always a big issue. I just want to see more like sustainable, more like sustainable investment in transit because in the city of Toronto, we only have four subway lines. It's kind of pathetic. I'd like to hear a little bit more about um, student issues and student loans. As so 905ers can expect to see more events like this, rallies and big speeches and big promises in their areas from all the party leaders, hoping to woo voters over to their side, Dwight. This event was supposed to start at six, but it's day one, so things are running a little behind, and that's why you still see all these cars streaming in behind me. They've been actually gathering for about two hours now, so it's likely to be a big event tonight.